All right. Can I get you folks anything else tonight? Maybe some dessert? No, thank you. Just the check, please. The check? All right. I'll be right back with that. So, that is my proposal to you. If you agree to be my personal assistant, you'll get your own office, full executive benefits, at least a $2,000 salary raise, and you'll be able to overlook the incoming interns as you see fit. Being everyone thinks going into the insurance business is easy, it shouldn't be too hard to sort through the real deals and the lazy wannabes. <laughs> oh no, you won't have to do anything of the sort. I will conduct the interviews myself. All you would have to do is give me a brief summary about them so I know what to expect. What their appearance is, how they conduct themselves, and how they treat having to wait. As you know, I can't stand having overly entitled little brats working for me. And these days, every human thinks they're more important than the next. <clears throat> oh, nothing. It's just... Here's your check, sir. I hope you have a nice night. Ah, oh, thank you. There you are. And be sure to give this to the chef as well. <gasps> Thank you so much, sir! You have a good night. <sighs> so, you don't have to decide now. I know this is a huge choice to make, but if you do decide to take me up on my offer, here are the appropriate papers for you to sign. They accurately outline what your new duties will be and all of your benefits as well as an up-to-date summary of the changes to your salary. All the perks, new accounts you'll be able to access, and the list of employees that you will be superior to. Take as much time as you need. Considering you're the only one I'm offering this position to, the job will remain open for as long as you need. <laughs> you heard me. You are the only one I'm offering this job to. You're honestly the most qualified to take on such an important task. You've lasted longer than any of my other employees, and you've honestly handled my tasks much more efficiently than my dolt of a vice executive. And even when it comes to dealing with my less than pleasant moods, you handle it in a very professional manner, and have even taken on the role of my therapist a few times. <laughs> There's no need to apologize, dear. Just because I'm your boss doesn't mean you need to fear standing up to me when it's warranted. Even I need to wake up call every now and then, especially when it's from any of my underlings. That being said, best leave the therapist rule to Dr. Rodriguez. It is what I pay him for, after all. <laughs> All right, it's about time for us to go. Allow me to take you home. Oh, please, it's no trouble at all. It's far too late for you to be walking, and in such dreary weather, no less. My dear, you are my employee. It's my job to know the addresses of all my underlings. Honestly, it gives me a chance to inspect their living conditions so I can pay them respectfully. Of course. Personally, I'm not a fan of paying the rich more wages simply because they expect it. I pay those who deserve it and need it. I take great pride in taking care of my employees in any way I can. If I have an employee struggling, I will do what I can to make them comfortable. And in contrast, if I have an employee too comfortable, I will be sure to give them a reality check. That's why I insisted on the salary raise for you. Please, dear, I have your address and bank details on file. You think I don't also have your college transcripts and standing loans on file as well? <laughs> I'm sure it does sound a bit stalker-like in nature, but I spare no expense when it comes to taking care of my employees. Speaking of which, let's get you home before you catch your death of cold. Take it, sir. I'll be right back.
<clears throat> Sorry, dear. I think the rain's getting to me. Um, it looks like the valet can't find my car. I'm gonna go help him find it. I'll be right back. Your time has come, Lilim. The thread of your life has come to an end, and it is time to cut the fragile fabric known as your existence short. All your life you have searched for the one person who would make you whole, the one person who would bring you peace. All your life you have felt nothing but pain and felt like you have been trapped in your own personal hell. Humans constantly feel pain in their hearts. Because the heart is so sensitive to pain, humans also feel that to live is to suffer. Man can never completely erase this sadness, because all men are fundamentally alone. Pain is something man must carry in his heart. And since the heart feels pain so easily, some believe that life is pain. Well, I am here to tell you that pain will not be able to reach you in any form once you are reunited with the one you call God.
Master? We were about to handle things. Why did you make yourself known to him? I was in the immediate area, and others' lives would have been cut short too if I hadn't done so. But still, Master, if Belzalio knew you were out collecting souls yourself, it would break the treaty between angels and demons. You could start another holy war if you keep this up. <sighs> Do not recite the treaty's deep magic to me, witch. I was there when it was written. Then you'll remember well that any human collected or killed before their time belongs to him, right? And any human you get close to becomes a target for his amusements. You speak of the human woman I was just with. You need to ride on the side of caution with her, Master. Belzelisle has already had his eyes on her for a while now, and has already tried putting his mark on her several times. What if she's really a spy working for him? What if she's truly trying to destroy everything you're trying to do and start a holy war herself using you as the catalyst? Enough. We're not alone here. I know you're there. Come out where I can see you. There's no need for that. She won't remember any of this anyway. What? Take her home, and make sure she's as comfortable as possible. If you are followed, be sure she is not harmed in any way. Humans are such fragile creatures. It still astounds me as to why they were the ones chosen to inherit this planet. But Master, what about Belzalile? Surely he has already heard about your activity tonight. What if he encounters her? He'll sense your influence on her immediately. <sighs> then I will follow behind. But I cannot touch her while in this state. Otherwise, it would alert everything around here.